Well, Catherine Hines, thanks so much for coming on WMNF today. Glad to be here, Sean. Thank you. Tell me about the birth certificate program for Gulf Coast Legal Services. Uh, the program was implemented as a result of uh, a colleague of mine who, Pam Brule, uh, who saw that many of the public benefits clients of hers had a threshold problem. And the threshold problem was they had no valid ID. So Pam began uh, as an adjunct to her public benefits practice, uh, she began handling birth certificate applications, but uh, that program bloomed significantly. I happened to put uh, my application in to, for volunteer work right about the time it was blooming and Pam brought me on board to assist. So uh, primarily it is a program to help homeless and low income persons obtain valid ID. Before I ask you my next question, I'm going to admit Robin to the conference. Just oh, great. So you know. and, and my next question will be while we're waiting for Robin to join is that um, I'm going to ask you, you know, why it's important for people to have uh, to get access to a birth certificate. Hi, Robin. Hi. Hi. We already started. I hope that's okay with you. Of course. I'm, I'm just here to um, I'm just here to explain and let you let you know what uh, where we've received our funding and our ability to, to do this great program. Okay, great. And I had just asked Catherine um, what what the birth certificate program was. And now I'll ask, I'll resume and Catherine, tell us uh, why is it important for people to have access to birth certificates? Well, um, one of the things that I'm sure you're aware of is the so-called gold star or real ID requirement on our driver license and Florida IDs. That establishes that we have been verified uh, and our history and background is known. And that is now by legislation required of all of us. And it's important for my clients because they have to establish who they are, their identity, in order to receive, whether it's social security benefits or Medicare or Medicaid or uh, food stamps through the SNAP program, so-called food stamps. Uh, these are all uh, public benefits that require us to prove our identity, all of us. And you're expanding this program in Manatee County. And I don't know if this would be better directed toward Robin or who would like to answer. Why are you expanding it in Manatee County and what do you hope to accomplish? Well, it, the program is really a, a gold, the, the gold standard program for this type of a, of a service. And uh, our birth certificate program in Pinellas, through our partners uh, who we work with up there, has, is just the gold standard. Catherine's done such an excellent job with that. And um, that, that was recognized in Manatee County. Uh, Manatee County recognized that this would be a very valuable uh, service to be able to offer residents here. And actually, when uh, the pandemic uh, uh, struck us, one of the important values that Manatee County recognized was that if, if people do not have their birth certificates, they can obtain their ID. And very importantly, if they don't have ID and they're struggling to obtain housing or do not have housing and have a path to get housing, they're not gonna be able to get housing unless they have valid identification. So one of the important uh, aspects of this is that Manatee County recognized that to keep people safe from the pandemic and to give them a chance to isolate, they're gonna to need to have their own housing. So that was an important reason at this time that they thought to bring this birth certificate down here so that people can obtain identification, to obtain housing, to protect themselves from the spread of COVID-19. So if someone is hearing this and they think, you know, I don't think I have access to my birth certificate, maybe I would be interested in, in uh, getting into this program so that I can get my birth certificate, how do people get one? Well, we have, Manatee County has provided us funding uh, specifically directed to residents of Manatee who are considered homeless. Now that is one important category of people. 
who if if they're uh, if somebody who services them, their doctors, their church, them themselves, anybody who knows that someone is struggling and homeless and needs their birth certificate, then that, that, that they should contact us. Because through Manatee County, we have specific, a specific program to help homeless people in Manatee County obtain their birth certificates. And that is, and that is an important segment of this. But we also have other funding to assist people obtain to obtain their birth certificates if they are not homeless. So if they're homeless, we have a wonderful dedicated program through Manatee County Community Development Block Grant. And if they're not homeless, then we can assist with uh, those people as well. Importantly, if somebody knows someone who's homeless and struggling to get their birth certificate, Manatee County, part of that grant has set aside monies to um, defray the cost of the applications for people when they go to various states to, uh, uh, to get their birth certificate. A lot of homeless people can't, don't have access to those funds. So, so what they should do is contact Gulf Coast Legal Services and inquire as to whether or not we'll be able to, to assist them with this. Is there a phone number for people in Manatee? Yes, there is. The phone number for Gulf Coast Legal Services in Manatee is 941-746-6151. And then the extension down here is 121. But if they call 941-746-6151, they'll reach us right away. Also, in this time of the pandemic, if you have a smartphone, a computer, whatever, we just go to Gulf Coast Legal Services and we have a very simple online application. It's not difficult at all. And Catherine, is that the same for people outside of Manatee County? Uh, people in Pinellas County uh, should call into the Pinellas office. Uh, you, one can call either location and get to the right place. Uh, our number in Pinellas, 727-821-0726. Best if you just dial my extension 242 and not go through all the prompts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you will find the birth certificate program either through the prompts or by mm -hmm. dialing extension 242. Mm -hmm. So Catherine and Robin, those were my questions, but is there anything else that people should know about Gulf Coast Legal Services and about the birth certificate program? Well, I, one thing I would like to, to, to just throw out there for people is that we also have, during the pandemic, we also have a program to assist people with financial problems debt problems, financial problems, any, any type of, of financial issue that they have in Manatee County, if they have been affected and their finances have been affected by the pandemic. So that's a separate special program that of course we have now because, because things are very different now. So if a person has had any financial loss due to the pandemic, negative credit reporting, preventing, mitigating foreclosure, mitigating eviction, they should call us. Well, thank you both for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming on WMNF. Thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.